What's up insiders, Connor here, your watching Creator Insider, the best place for you to find out what is happening at YouTube on a weekly basis, directly from the tech team. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. If you're not so new, you know the drill. We want those likes and we want those comments underneath the video. Let's get into the couple of updates we have for you this week. To make it a little bit easier for you to enter captions, we're releasing the ability for you to enter those captions as you upload a video directly from the video elements page. Here, you'll be taken to the recently redesigned captions editor, where you'll be able to do three really cool things. Firstly, you'll be able to type in your own captions relevant to the video that you're uploading. Secondly, you can have the option to upload a captions file. Thirdly, you can edit the automatically generated captions if there's something that you spot that isn't quite 100% correct. All right, secondly, let's talk permissions. If you are a user who's been granted access to a channel via channel permissions, you now have the ability to request support via YouTube Studio, via chat or email options on behalf of that channel if the channel itself is eligible for support. Okay, moving from support options to being a supportive platform for creators, we've heard directly from creators that we can do more to provide you with options to prevent you from seeing more hurtful comments and to surface those comments that are more important to you. To address this, what we're doing is putting some held comments that we've identified might be more hurtful than others in a new section in the held for review tab in YouTube Studio right at the bottom. If you want to review these, you can do so by clicking on See Hidden Comments at the bottom of that Held for Review tab, or if you prefer, you can leave them unreviewed and completely ignore them. Now, if you click on this option, you're gonna be presented with a confirmation message. That message is gonna ask you to confirm that you wanna proceed and will warn you that the comments in this new section may be offensive. Please note that this section may not always appear. And we'll finish up with an update on Studio Mobile and Shorts. Studio Mobile is now gonna show you typical performance for Shorts. This is gonna be great because it shows you your average percentage watched, likes, and compares this short with previous Shorts. Now, the big bonus here is for creators who upload both short form content and long form content, because you'll be able to compare each in its own right with previous types of uploads in each of those two categories. And that is just about it from us this week at Creator Insider, but not before we get to one of your audience questions taken directly from comments on last week's videos. So this particular one was from the video I did last week on the expansion of content eligible for the green icon. A lot of you asked the same type of question. So we'll take this one directly from Khmer Narrated Stories who asked, do you re-review videos that got yellow icons before this expansion scope and do you reconsider them and the answer is yes we will be automatically reviewing and re-reviewing videos uploaded since May 2019 against those newly updated guidelines so no need to send those for review if your video was uploaded before May 2019 you can request a human review in studio. We hope that clarifies. This is something that we hope to close out by mid-April, so by the end of next week. So if you're still experiencing any issues, drop those comments underneath this video. And that's it from the creators of YouTube to YouTube creators. This has been your weekly news flash. I'm Connor, delighted to be with you this week. I'll see you next week.